Sea Ray has been manufacturing sport fishes, or sedan bridges as they're now called, for quite a few years in a variety of lengths with several power options. This week on Fooditis, we'll take a look at a 2001 560 Sea Ray's largest sedan bridge for that model year. From dockside, the Sea Ray 560 is one large impressive fly bridge, measuring 59 feet 10 inches with the optional swim platform. The design and lines of the boat, though modernized, are traditional Sea Ray sedan with styling cues like the teardrop accents on the cabin sides. This 560 was equipped with the optional hydraulic swim platform that can be raised and lowered to lodge a tender with a remote control. The self-bailing cockpit is expansive and uncluttered and features a fold-away transom bench seat. A service hatch supported by gas struts and a stainless steel ladder provide easy access to the lazarette where a bulkhead hatch leads forward into the engine room. With the 560's 16-foot beam, the engine room is quite large with great access to the Big Cat diesels and all systems. The size of this engine room has allowed the owner to install a second generator for lighter loads not requiring the 20 kilowatt Westerbeek and to mount toolboxes and storage cabinets for spare parts. From the cockpit, molded steps lead to the side decks and to the bridge. Moving forward while underway is aided by secure handrails and the full-length bow rail. At the bow, a horizontal windlass with all-chain road and a plow anchor makes for secure anchoring and two lockers provide storage for lines, fenders and the washdown hose. The main salon is bright and airy, creating a warm and inviting feeling. The ultra-leather upholstered settees to port and starboard provide plenty of seating and are complemented nicely by the cherry cabinets and accents. A granite high-low table and two stools expands the dining options to the salon. To keep the look of the salon uncluttered and clean, the 560 has plenty of storage in the settees and cabinets conceal all of the accessories and the entertainment electronics. Forward to starboard, the galley with card and counters continues the interior theme with the cabinets concealing most of the appliances. Sliding back covers in the counter reveals a large sink and a three burner electric range. The cabinets conceal a microwave convection oven and below, sub-zero refrigerator and freezer. To port, the dinette will provide comfortable seating for four. Forward to port, the smallest stateroom has bunk berths, a hanging locker and hidden away is the washer dryer. Forward to starboard, the guest stateroom has a single double berth, night table, a hanging locker and private access to the guest head. The roomy guest head has a separate shower stall, large vanity with storage and a vacuum flush head. The master stateroom has a clean sized raised berth with storage drawers below, a dressing table with mirror and storage drawers and as expected a private head again with separate shower, vanity and a vacuum flush head. What really appealed to me the most on the 560 was the bridge. Protected by a hard top with a sunroof and enclosed with ice and glass, the air conditioned bridge will be a popular spot. Ample seating is provided fore and after the helm and for entertaining there is a cocktail table and a refrigerator and separate ice maker. The helm layout is excellent with large analog gauges for the cat diesels and plenty of room to flush mount electronics, including an overhead electronics and storage cabinet. The two Euro-style seats with flip-up bolsters and the center location of the helm provides for excellent visibility sitting or standing. Although weighing in at 50,000 pounds dry, the 3406E cat diesels accelerated the 560 to 20 miles per hour in just under 10 seconds. The top speed was an impressive 31 knots and cruise was a steady 27. As expected from a big sea ray, the hull was solid, providing an excellent ride and the 15 degree dead rise hull kicked up only a moderate wake. In the turns, the 560 heeled over slightly and felt secure. The Sea Ray 560 is an awful lot of boat with a plethora of luxury appointments and features that really make extended cruising a pleasure. And while it may be an awful lot of boat, in today's used boat market, it is a viable option when compared to many new but smaller cruisers.